Olympic Community of Health hosted the first Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice on Tuesday, October 31st at Jamestown Squalum, Red Cedar Hall, outside of Swim, Washington. For those of you that are unfamiliar with Olympic Community of Health, we are a nonprofit serving Clallam, Jefferson, and Kitsap counties, as well as seven sovereign tribal nations whose land we are on. Our purpose is to tackle health issues that no one single sector or tribe can tackle alone. OCH serves as a supportive backbone that creates opportunities for collaboration. We bring together partners in creative and innovative ways to strengthen how we care for our communities. We address health issues that are community informed and community led. We are Olympic Region partners serving Olympic Region community members to foster a region of healthy people, thriving communities. The purpose of the Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice is to bring Olympic Region partners and tribes together to collectively address and advance equity through shared learnings, best practices, and a shared vision for a healthier, more equitable region. The vision is to host a broad and diverse table with people that represent the patients, clients, and communities we serve to best inform our collective work. Examples of the type of work this group could do together include share, shared equity learning, sharing of policies and practices, development of shared language, and problem solving. Olympic Community of Health defined three objectives for the first gathering of the Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice. The first one is establish a shared understanding of equity. The second is establish a shared understanding of community of practice. And lastly, to foster an inclusive, supportive, and kind space that supports adult learning. To achieve our objective to foster an inclusive, supportive, kind space for learning, Olympic Community of Health proposed a set of norms adapted from Guidelines for Multicultural Interactions by Lauren Mayno and Elena Featherstone. Please introduce yourself when you speak. Be present. Bring your full attention to the process. Acknowledge anything that you need to let go of in order to be present. Try on new perspectives. Be willing to open up new territory and break through old patterns. Remember, try on is not the same as take on. It's okay to disagree. Avoid attacking, discounting, or judging the beliefs and views of others. Instead, welcome disagreements as an opportunity to expand your world. Confidentiality. It helps to remember that the story belongs to the teller. Make space take space. Be aware of sharing space in the group. Respect the different rhythms in the room. It's okay to be with silence. Self-awareness. Respect and connect to your thoughts, feelings, and reactions in the process. Monitor the content, the process, and yourself. Check out assumptions. This is an opportunity to learn more about yourself and others. Do not assume you know what is meant by a communication, especially when it's triggering or activates you. Ask questions. Practice both and thinking. Making room for more than one idea at a time means appreciating and valuing multiple realities. Intent is different from impact, and both are important. It is important to own our ability to have a negative impact on another person's life despite our best intentions. Listen deeply. Listen with intent to hear. Listen for the entire content and what is behind the words. Engage heart and mind. Listen with alert compassion. Speak from the I. Is speaking from one's personal experience rather than saying we. It allows us to take ownership of thoughts, feelings, and actions. These norms were agreed to and put into practice at the first gathering. During registration for this event, participants were asked, what does equity mean to you? Olympic Community of Health compiled the responses into a word cloud, demonstrating the most common words used to and assist in the creation of shared definition of equity for this community of practice. Some of those words that floated to the top were 
access, equal needs, justice, opportunities, and thrive. Working in small groups, five definitions of equity, equity were presented. Equity, when we are aware of differences which result in having community that has what they need to thrive, reduces barriers to medical services. Equity, taking holistic approach, equity is being treated fairly and having the same opportunity to have resources and support with inclusion needed to thrive. Everybody for the next seven generations and beyond has access to power, opportunities, and resources to flourish. With acknowledgement and validation comes belonging. We cannot have equity without justice. Equity, a process that restructures power imbalances to grant access so people are empowered to thrive. Everyone gets what they need to have access and opportunity. Those that have been marginalized and oppressed are acknowledged and supported to gain this access and opportunity. Getting what you want, voice encouraged, intersectional identities acknowledged. At future gatherings, the Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice will continue refining these definitions to get a closer to get closer to a shared understanding of equity. To break the ice and begin building trust and relationship among participants, Olympic Community of Health facilitated a liberating structure called TRIZ, Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. TRIZ invites the power of creative destruction to make room for innovation. What must we stop doing in order to make progress on our deepest purpose? Our purpose in, the com in this community of practice is to promote a healthier, more equitable three-county region. Participants were challenged to create three lists. First, a list of all the ways they could create the most inequitable environments possible. This induced laughter and cringy feelings, ultimately serving as an absurd place to start to challenge the taboos surrounding discussions around equity. Second, a list of any behaviors, mindsets, practices, policies, or procedures that in any way resemble what they previously listed. This list required bravery, honesty, and humility as they were asked to critically self-reflect and share what is not serving them in making progress toward greater equity. Finally, the third list was an invitation to identify the first actionable step they can, that can be taken to stop each of the counterproductive behaviors from the second list. Here are some of the inspiring solutions and promising first steps participants shared out to disrupt inequitable environments. Hold brave spaces for conversations. Listen deeply. Step up, be the voice challenging inequity. This work starts from within, self-monitoring. After collaborating on definitions of equity and engaging in creative problem solving, the Olympic region equity community of practice began developing a shared understanding of what a community of practice is. They started broadly with a general definition, then examined the functions of community of practice, described the value of community of practice for individual participants and partner organizations, and defined the success factors for community of practice. Working together in small groups, the Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice identified successful factors for this community of practice. Success in the community includes rotating online and in-person meetings, intentional rhythm, three per year with one in each county, tribal spaces preferred, finding common ground across counties, diverse participants engaged in this work. Successful function includes opportunities to learn from others, equitable languages, funding, investment for resources to try new things, accountability, trauma-informed care. Finally, successful organizations includes sourcing funding for this time, takeaway resources to share back with teams, shared understanding, language, and identify starting place, share mission, vision, purpose, intention, balance of formal and informal structures, more time to think, generative 
prompts with reflection time. Time flew by in the first gathering for the Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice, leaving participants with the desire to continue connecting and diving deeper into the subject. There's always more to explore with a topic as rich as equity. Olympic Community of Health asked folks in the room to share one word to describe how they were feeling leaving the space. They were motivated, curious, grateful, hopeful, inspired, mindful, reflective, energized, destructive, in a good way, nervous, in a good way. They were also asked to share one thing they were taking away from the gathering. Here are some of their responses. New community connections, collaborative approaches, new perspectives, TRIZ, creative destruction activity, uplifting coloring page. Taking participant feedback into consideration, Olympic Community of Health is taking some time at the end of 2023 to intentionally plan for future gatherings in 2024. We are committed to advancing equity and commit to reconvening this group again early in 2024. Miss the first Olympic Region Equity Community of Practice gathering? Not a worry. The invitation is open and the table has plenty of room to encompass passionate individuals from across the region who share the vision of a healthier, more equitable three county region. Email OCH at olympicch.org to learn more and get signed up for the Olympic Community of Health's newsletter to stay up to date on 2024 events. We all have a part to play fostering a region of healthy people, thriving communities. Thank you for your time.